All those are all electric. Hard to believe. Hi, this is Fred with Electric, and today I'm with, I'm with Sylvain Juteau from RouletElectric.com. And uh, Sylvain is in a very interesting position here. He might be the only person in the world right now to have both an electric pickup truck and an electric jet ski or any kind of motorsport electric vehicle, really. So with the two together, you can do some, you can do some really cool things, which is what we're going to check out right now. Okay, now we just, uh, Fred just tried the Orca. It's at 40% uh, state of charge. So we're going to charge it with the pickup because there's a, this pickup can uh, charge at 240 volts up to 9.6 kilowatt. So let's do it. So by putting down the tailgate, the charging station I prefer is the wall box because you can connect with it with Bluetooth. So even if you're in the woods and there's no Wi-Fi, no internet, you can communicate with it and you can uh, set up the by one amp. So you can really choose how much power you want. So to plug, uh, you have to use the uh, twist lock 240 volt plug that comes on the F-150 Lightning. So you need an adapter usually from L, uh, it's called L1430 to NEMA 1450. So most chargers that are portable, they are they use this kind of plug. So you need the, this ad adapter. So you just plug it right here, like this. I just push on the button to activate the power. And now you're gonna see the charger. You see the light here on the on the charger. It means it's uh, powering up. And then we can plug the. Uh, this. So let's plug the Orca. So in about uh, two hours, it's gonna be over 80 percent, and we're gonna be able to do another drive. Yes. Like this. Okay, we're gonna have to power it up. It takes about 30 seconds for the tiger to power up. Yeah, no, lots no, of no, no, Okay, good. now so now it's powering up, and we we're gonna see the power. See, it's minus. It means it's charging. See, mm -hmm. it's gonna go up to six point four kilowatts. Now it's almost at three. We're talking. We're talking about this right. Three kilowatts. Yeah. Four kilowatts. Mm -hmm. Five kilowatts. And there it's almost at 6.4 there. So we're charging at the maximum of what the target can, can charge at level two charging. Mm -hmm. So now what's really interesting is that I have a setup that you can charge the Taiga while driving the F-150. So this is really awesome. So I will make sure it's secure. So I just lift up the tailgate. Like this. You just close the bed cover like this and I have a tie wrap here to make sure the cable mm -hmm. doesn't do uh, doesn't go down so I just tied it here to make sure it won't move while driving Oops. 
Gandhi now. Yeah. There. Like this. So the cable is there. It's charging. And then we're going to go in the pickup. And we're going to drive. Okay, so uh, when we go into the uh, settings, we go to the Pro Power Onboard, which is all uh, what the, the vehicle to load we can do with the uh, Lightning. So we see on the right, um, 3.5 kilowatts on the A NDB because they're two, two phase A eh, and the 240 volts uh, connection mm -hmm. in North America. So phase one is 120 volts, phase two is 120 volts, combined gives 240 volts. So we use about seven kilowatts to charge the um, Taiga, which gets about 6.4 kilowatts. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a loss, there's some loss because there's, there's conversion because the battery in the Taiga is a, a DC battery, mm -hmm. so it has to upscale it to, uh, I think it's, it's probably 144 volts mm -hmm. uh, or maybe even 400 volts like the cars. I, I don't know the deep engineering mm -hmm. at uh, Taiga. And we see the 100 uh, watts here because there's lots of circuits on the F-150. There's lots of plug in the front. There's one here, 20 amps. There's one in the back where I have the cooler, which is plugged in so we can have some cold water. Mm -hmm. uh, so it takes only 100 watts. And then we have the 150. I'm about, uh, the, the state of charge of the pickup is about two thirds of its charge. So that means that I can charge the Taiga twice and come back to Trois Rivières, which is about uh, 40 miles from here. Okay. So what's nice is that it's going to let me drive. So that's really, really impressive. I'm plugged and we're going to move. So look at that. So we can go to another place do some uh, jet ski and uh, let's say it takes an hour or two to get there and we can eat some lunch and the Thai guy is going to be ready for another run and don't forget a full charge cost only two dollars of electricity compared to up to one hundred dollars for a regular gas jet ski so this is nice to save some money and of course zero emission and full silence this is also very nice all right so we've been we've been on the road for a bit we went to dinner and now we were at what 35 percent now we're back to 87 percent and ready to go back on the water thanks for watching the video and thanks to sylvain uh, and the wooleelectric.com you can check out this stuff on wooleelectric.com we're bringing us this F-150 Lightning and this Targa or Tiger Orca uh, we're gonna see you next time so this is pretty incredible right now because we are next to a national park here, St. Maurice. And we are on the Taiga Orca, all electric watercraft, sort of like a jet ski, all electric jet ski. And you can't do that here with a gasoline jet ski because you can't enjoy it. Like we're going, obviously we're going slow right now because if you go fast, you still get, make a lot of noise just out of the, the water, the propulsion, but the engine, there's no engine, so it's quiet as hell if you go slow like this and you can enjoy the beautiful wild. It's a zero emission machine. Truly really incredible.